Hi, I'm Celeste, and welcome to Find Your Purple. It's SSS Beta time, video every day for the month of April. The topic today that I wanted to share with you was a verse that I found a little over 40 days ago that has, for me, revolutionized my prayer. Now, I grew up in the Catholic Church, and so prayer to me, prior to my whole journey starting last year, was the prayers such as Our Father or the Hail Mary. It was prayers I memorized and I would repeat, but I didn't connect with the words like I feel I should. Other people do, but for me, I didn't. And I was reading the Chronicles and I came across a prayer and it's called the Prayer of Jabez. I really, really have enjoyed incorporating it into my prayer time. It's in the Chronicles, chapter 4, verse 10. Now, the version I like is in the New King James Version. Now, I'm going to read it to you, and then I'll briefly explain how I use it. In the Chronicles, it's through the family of Solomon. It lists the family of Je Jeconiah, family of David, family of Judah. It lists them all out. And the first time I was reading through it, I almost skipped it because I couldn't understand why this list of descendants would mean anything to me. But I stayed with it and I found this paragraph. Jabez's mother named him Jabez because she said, I bore him in pain, which to me would be kind of a bummer. And it says, and Jabez called on the God of Israel saying, Oh, that you would bless me indeed, enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me, and that you would keep me from evil, and I may not cause pain. And it ends with, so God granted him what he requested. Now, it's a very simple prayer, but it jumped out at me the day I read it. So I Googled it, and come to find out there is a book on YouTube it's an audio book, but it's on YouTube and it's free. It's called The Prayer Jabez. Now, I'll have to put it in comments. I can't remember the author's name, but I listened to it. And he has been praying the prayer of Jabez every day for years. And he suggests that you do it every day for 30 days. Uh, today is day 40. So what I do in my prayer time, I read the Bible and I write down key Bible verses and what it meant to me or what I felt God was saying and then I end it with a prayer of Jabez. Now I take this structure and I expand on it based on whatever I read that day. So I love the idea of expanding my territory, enlarging my territory and that territory can be your personal relationships, it could be your business, it can mean different things to different people but I ask each day I ask God to walk with me, to guide my words, to guide my actions, to enlarge my territory, to keep me from evil and destruction, which is in the Living Bible version, and to not cause people pain. And then I do amen, and then I put in quotes, and God heard her request and granted it. And then I track what number, so today was number 40. I just find it a nice prayer to end my prayer session. And then laying in bed at night, I will say the prayer again in some version or the other. But when I'm saying it, I'm incorporating what's happening in my life, but keeping that three or four sentence structure. So I'll put it in the comments again. You might want to listen to that book. Uh, you might want to go to Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10. And it says again, Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory that your hand be with me, and that you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. And God granted his request. Short, sweet, but full of meaning. Just my thought for the day. As always, grab your cup of tea, sit back, and let's start sharing. Until tomorrow.